Guten Morgen. Special delivery of some muck mousies and some rat pups. Because everyone's running out of rodents. Here is Nutmeg. She's not dead yet. She's doing alright. Doing alright. And here is Lara. She knows it's feeding day. She's got her routine down, so she's waiting for her food. And so Loki's pretty good at knowing when it's feeding day as well. He just knows. So we'll do Lara first. Got her little little hairless mouse here. She is being uh, a lot a lot more shy than normal. She's normally bang on it. There we go. But she's normally like that when you take the lid off. She doesn't hide behind her her hide. Um, but uh, she's only just getting used to me feeding her. Um, someone else normally feeds her. And they do, just from uh, energy and your smell, they know exactly who you are when you're dealing with them. Or it just seems that way. Any of like my snakes that I deal with on a daily, uh, the other person that does this with me, um, they don't like him, they'll get a lot more um, defensive with him. And the other way around as well. Uh, his snakes get a lot more defensive with me. They definitely get used to your smell. And I like this bit when you see the little tail disappear, like a little like slurping a little noodle. <laughs> she cute little super condor post head snow. Let's put your stuff back. And yeah, all done. And here is Loki. I'm gonna try him on a wrap up because we've got a. Uh, mouse rodent shortage here at the moment so I could only get rat pups for around this size mm, he won't take this I can already tell just if it's not an instant reaction from him he's not gonna have it so I'll just put it on a little bowl here see if he takes it hey buddy little weirdo I want him to have a bigger rub but he just he stops eating so he's got to stay in here here we have Astrid, and she gets a mouse. Come on girl, I have to protect myself because she is an absolute demon sometimes. Uh, she's food aggressive, very much so. She's hook trained though, if she feels that hook she, she snaps out of it and uh, just, just chills. I've had her from a uh, hatchling, she knows me very well. Here we go, we can look at it properly now. Hmm, where she's stretched out of her hide, she actually looks a bit skinny, but she is she is actually a bit chunky. Uh, I've put her on a bit of a diet because she started getting a little bit overweight. Uh, so she gets fed less frequently now. Um, she's not dangerously overweight, it's just um, as every owner probably can relate with these hoggies, you, you want them to be absolutely perfect. It's not possible, they're always going to be one way or the other, but as close to perfect as possible. I will try and do that. So this is going to take her forever because she's doing it side on. Here we have Peanut. Um, this boring one for you guys. He doesn't tongue feed. You just put it on top of his hide. Shut the lid. Make sure he doesn't see you and he will eat it overnight. Here we have Cersei. The one that gave me a clutch a little while ago. She's an anaconda twin spot at snow. Again. She is so shy, I have to just put the mouse in a pot like that and uh, she will eat it normally overnight. Lately it's been as soon as I've left my snake house, she has come out and eaten it straight away. She's getting better, maybe I'll be able to tongue feed her one day. She's just got to get a bit braver. Here we have an absolute demon snake. This is Nessa. She's missed it and she gator rolled it. <laughs> she's such a destructive little miss oh my god but yeah she will quite often miss it and then latch on to us so we have to be careful with her she will bite us it has happened uh, she's got my jumper before and she's bit the other person two times and here we have Vladimir um, I don't think he's going to eat because he's in shed uh, no, I'm not. I'm not even going to disturb him really, because he is in shed and he's he's a shy boy. Um, but I can't tongue feed him anyway. I always pull it on this log hide here. We'll leave him. Here we have Cipher. He's a normal uh, corn snake. 
And that is why I keep the lid on. Because <laughs> he misses and comes for us as well. <laughs> I tried to get him out the other the other day and he was in food mode and he just kept trying to bite me. So he's a bit crazy. Mm, yeah, now it's safe. Now he's got the prey. But yeah, I love seeing him strike compared to the pathetic hoggies. Look at him just... I guess he's getting nervous. He's not normally one to get nervous, but I guess he's not going to eat his prey until I'm gone. So we'll give him some room. And here we have Mo, the giant African snail. He was my little brother's pet, but as little kids do, they get bored of pets very quickly. Um, so I knew it would sort of become my pet pretty early on. I'll leave him be. He's hibernating at the moment. Just to give you an update on these little hatchling boxes I've done. I have now hot glue done the little uh, bowls in. See, strong, strong enough for a hatchling. And then yeah, so you just put another little bowl inside and then it doesn't spill over and you can just take it out and clean it. Beautiful. There is enough clearance at the top for the hatchling to actually get the water bowl, I've checked. That would be disastrous if, if it couldn't actually get to the water bowl. Just a little toilet roll hiding uh, and paper towels paper towels for the first week to keep an eye on them you can see what's coming out of them for lack of a better phrase and um yeah once the substrate's in i can bury those toilet rolls a bit and they'll be a bit more effective hides but they'll do for now and i've got them red because i like red yeah this is squashy um she's the toffee belly lady that we got uh, she's a bit problematic probably not going to breed her i don't want her issues being passed down at all she has lots of glandular issues um, which were very annoying. Um, so lots of hot baths for her. I say hot baths, lukewarm baths basically. Try and melt the, uh, the, sh the crap out of her gland. She's lovely, so she's such a gentle girl. Even when feeding, she's very gentle. It's very strange. Um, she's a family favorite, so she will be kept as a pet forever. And if not, she will go to a pet only home I would never give her to another breeder. Um, but yeah, she's lovely. But yeah, gland issues. Yeah. 